Well, the Republican candidates gathered at the state's capitol as they awaited the results yesterday. Logan Zaid's Cole Sams was there and gives us a recap from Boise. Coming into Tuesday night, the general consensus was a Republican red wave, and that's exactly what we got, with many of the Republican candidates getting the win. Idaho Governor Brad Little won his race for re-election in a landslide, defeating Democratic candidate Stephen Height and independent challenger Ammon Bundy. And little is eager for another four years. We're ready to keep Idaho the least regulated state. We're ready to unleash innovation and enormous potential for businesses and not stifle it so Idahoans can have the maximum opportunity. Mike Crapo will also return to Washington, D.C. as Idaho's U.S. Senator and says he is honored to have the opportunity. It's truly rewarding uh, that the people of Idaho were willing to give me their votes, and I've made strong commitments to them about how I will conduct the business of the United States Senator for Idaho and Washington, and I intend to keep those commitments. And Crapo believes what needs to be addressed is the economy. We have to literally stop the, the runaway spending, and then we're going to move to protecting and strengthening our tax code so that we build that economy back that we had just a few short years ago. And there will be some fresh faces in Boise as well, with Scott Betke elected as the new lieutenant governor and Raul Labrador as the new attorney general. Both men say there is plenty of work to be done. We've still got to make investments into our education system, back into our roads and bridges, back into our water infrastructure, because uh, Idaho expects us to take care of business. We have a lot of people that we need to staff. The Attorney General's office has 120 lawyers and 100 staff, and we need to meet with the lawyers that are there. We need to meet with new people that want to come work at the office, and it's going to be a full time. It's, I'm going to have a full plate for the next few months. And while Election Day may be over, the future has just begun. Reporting in Boise, I'm Cole Sams. All right, thank you, Cole.